This tutorial is on how to choose appropriate intervals for a histogram. So let's say that this was your set of data. So let's say these are, I don't know, test scores um, for a high school algebra test. Um, and you had to figure out what appropriate intervals might be if you had to split them into intervals to make a histogram. So what you want to do is identify the smallest number in the set and the largest number in the set. So if we look across at the numbers, it looks like your smallest is 54. And then if I look across at the numbers, it looks like my largest might be 93. Then what you're going to do is you're going to calculate something called the range. So you're going to calculate the difference between the smallest minus the largest. That's what the range is. It's the difference between the smallest minus the, sorry, the largest minus the smallest. So when you do that, it will give you your range of data. So it will tell you what all of the numbers kind of fall within, what range they fall within. And when you do that, you get 39. Now remember for histogram, you're aiming to make between 5 and 10 between 5 and 10 intervals. So you can look at this and you can kind of think, okay, if I had to split up these numbers into groups of sort of into five groups or 10 groups, what would I do? So you could have 10 groups of about four apart or you could have five groups of about eight apart. So you're going to be aiming for something like that. Now, how did I get that? Well, I said, well, what's 39? What's my range divided by 5? When I do 39 divided by 5, I'm going to get something really close to 8. So I'm going to get 7.8. Or I could do um, 39 divided by 10. And when I do that, I get 3.9. That tells me approximate size of each interval. Now, because I'm dealing with test numbers, it makes sense maybe to go from 50 to 59 and so on and so forth. Um, but let's pretend I'm not. Let's pretend it wasn't tests. So let's go with a range of about 8. So what I do is I start with the smallest of 54, and I go about 8. So 54 to, if I added 8 to that, I get 62, but I'm going to go to 61.9. Because remember, you don't want to repeat the same number twice. Then my next one will go 62 to, instead of going right to 70, I'll go to 69.9. Then my next one will be 70 to, instead of going to 78, I'll go to 77.9. So what I'm doing is I'm using a range of approximately 8, and I'm splitting my numbers up into those intervals. So I'm going to go from um, 78 to, so 8 more would be 86, but I'll go to 85.9, and then I'll go 86, to, and again, 8 more would be 94, but I'll go to 93.9, and then that will pretty much take care of all my data. Notice I have five intervals. They are equally spread out. They are each a distance of 8 between them, and then I can make my little chart, and I can tally up. So I can see how many people fall in this range, how many people fall in that range, and so on. So that's just a little quick way of how to choose appropriate intervals for a histogram. Start with your range. Figure out what you want. So if you want between 5 and 10 intervals, that means your interval size will be between 4 and 8. We want to round. We don't, you don't want to use decimals necessarily. So somewhere between 4 and 8, and then you choose what you want, and you can go from there.